Chris Burke standing by, but first, another look at the full details of this blockbuster involving four teams. When the dust settles, the Nets get the prize jewel in Harden, one of only four players since the merger to win three straight scoring titles. His new teammate, guy he knows, Kevin Durant, also on that list. The Rockets getting a little depot as well as a haul of draft picks, and then you see those four Nets pick swaps. Pacers are getting Levert, and the Cavaliers are acquiring 22-year-old Jared Allen to solidify their future at the center position. All right, say hello once again to our analyst, Doris Burke, joining us live from Madison Square Garden. Doris, the perfect night for you to be uh, on the call of the game between the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Knicks. So when you saw this news cross just two hours ago, your initial reaction to James Harden coming there to the Nets was what? My first thought was a team that entered with championship expectations raised the possibility for that. You don't add one of the great scorers in the history of the league and not raise your championship expectation. My second thought came almost as quickly, Sage, and it was this will not be without its challenges. We know Kevin Durant can play alongside another MVP and a great two-way player in Klay Thompson and rise to the top and be a two-time MVP. What we don't know is whether... Kyrie Irving, who has bristled at times with another great player like LeBron James, or James Harden, who has now gone through multiple great players alongside of him, are willing to make the necessary sacrifices. You raised your championship expectations, but this is in a unique season. Very little time to sort of adjust and prepare and practice, uh, but definitely I think you've enhanced your chances. Uh, for sure, but yes, three of the uh, best players we've seen in this league, but also three of the more interesting personalities. Uh, it'll be fun to watch for sure. Uh, how about the trade uh, to the Rockets? What the Rockets get, we can't ignore their side, as they now bring in Victor Oladipo heading to Houston. He had expressed his discontent in Indiana. What's your take on where he's going? Well, congratulations to Houston because your first trade is General Manager Stone and you have the patience to wait until it becomes untenable and you get, as Adrian Wojnarowski said, one of the great halls in the history of trade uh, interactions. And so congratulations to them. The beauty of the Victor Oladipo situation if you're Houston is you now have a guy on an expiring contract who you get a very hard long look at he's only 28 years old maybe just shy of 29 uh, but we're talking about at one time the most improved player an all NBA defensive player and an all NBA player uh, I love what Houston did you you made an untenable situation the best you possibly could Doris, I remember talking to you specifically about Kyrie Irving when he was still in Boston and he had publicly eviscerated many of his teammates and you called him out for that. And, and then, frankly, the drama has continued in Brooklyn. One time the most improved player, an all-NBA defensive player and an all-NBA player. Uh, I love what Houston did. You, you made an untenable situation the best you possibly could. Doris, I remember talking to you specifically about Kyrie Irving when he was still in Boston and he had publicly eviscerated many of his teammates and you called him out for that. And, and then, frankly, the drama has continued in Brooklyn. What is your biggest concern with Kyrie Irving right now? So interesting, Sage. I have the exact same thought. Boy, it feels like deja vu for Sage Steele and I discussing yeah. this. Listen, it's very difficult for me to, to make a judgment off, right? And when you hear his best friend or one of his close friends, uh, Kevin Durant, say we're 100% behind him and praying for the best, those words draw my attention. Uh, but obviously, if what we saw in the video turns out to be true, then that behavior would be indicative of somebody uh, that is doing things antithetical to being a great teammate. And this is the concern. When, when you step between the lines with Kyrie Irving, you get one of the most dangerous scorers at the lead guard position, a fearless shot maker and an NBA champion. But the drumbeat continues as it relates to... Uh, other things in an organization and being part of an organization and having your full heart and mind where it needs to be. Yeah, if this doesn't ignite something in him as far as basketball is concerned, this trade bringing Harden there and, and the three of them together, then you have to wonder what will. But maybe th there's more to this. We shall see. Doris Burke with the very latest uh, from the Garden tonight. Thank you, as always, Doris. Kevin? From New York to L.A., for much more, let's bring in the jumps Rachel Nichols live from Los Angeles. And Rachel, how does this blockbuster trade change the balance of power in the league? Let's start in the East here with Brooklyn. Well, you just heard Doris talk about championships expectations. The Nets now have to be the favorite in the East, but that's 
at least for now, because it's very interesting. I remember a couple years back, right after Toronto acquired Kyrie, Le Kyrie, uh, sorry, Kyrie, Kawhi Leonard started an arms race in the Eastern Conference, right? Right at the tread day, day long day, we saw a flurry. We saw Milwaukee, we saw Philadelphia, we saw Toronto again jumping in with trade deadline deals because the stakes had gone up and Brooklyn has raised the stakes in the Eastern Conference. So look for a domino effect among the Eastern contenders. I can see Philadelphia again being involved, Milwaukee again being involved, Boston being involved in trying to now beef up their team to try to compete with the Nets in the Eastern Conference. And then if you expand out further to the whole league, you look at the Lakers, you look at the Clippers. The Lakers especially, Kevin, certainly in the first few weeks of the season, look like favorites to repeat, not just favorites, but up in their own tier, above everyone else in the NBA. Well, it's possible. We'll have to see this team on the court, and Kyrie will have to come back, but it's possible there is now another seat at that table. You mentioned Kyrie will have to come back, and Doris talked about this, the unknown. What do you expect from this newly constructed Brooklyn team? Because we do have the knowns. That is Kevin Durant and James Harden reuniting. Yeah, and look, I don't want to harsh anyone's buzz in Brooklyn. If you're a Brooklyn Nets fan today, you should feel nothing but happy and excited. But just a little whisper in your ear should be the question, who on this team is going to play defense? They just traded away their best defensive player, Jared Allen. And look, we have seen some of the stars on this team play excellent team defense and that's what this is going to take there's not the defensive expert or specialist on the roster anymore but we have seen Kevin Durant we have seen Kyrie Irving buy into bigger team defense defensive systems and they've actually operated very well but it will take that buy-in it will take the guys doing that and we will have to see if that happens now offensively of course these guys are going to blow plenty of teams just off the court with their offensive capabilities for my money Kevin Durant is right up next to LeBron as the best player in the NBA now with James Harden next to him you have a guy who has finished top five in MVP voting six of the last seven years that is insane and then you do have Kyrie Irving who is just such a great addition to that mix best ball handler in the NBA and the truth is by acquiring James it takes a little bit of the pressure off of knowing if Kyrie is going to be there for them or not I thought what Doris said was so wise it just doesn't matter quite as much anymore if James Harden is there if Kyrie disappears on you one day well you've still got two mega all-stars we've got the blockbuster going down but many more questions to follow here Rachel thank you so much thank you we heard Stephen A. say a couple of minutes ago that things have shifted in the 